essential, here's the, in summary the two or three messages of today, just up front. That buildings aren't static, they're dynamic creations. And there needs to be a respect for that dynamic nature, that inherently dynamic nature. And for that to be incorporated into the design right from the very beginning. Because the fundamental message is that it's so much easier to change a line on a drawing, especially with a machine, with CAD, than it is to change a detail with a jackhammer on site with the lawyers standing around getting paid. But unfortunately in the waterproofing general subject area, once you get a defect, you get many of them. <clears throat> and when there's many of them, they're external. And it often involves kangos, jackhammers and mess and so it's expensive. So essentially what we have is the, we can have an A team of people that are all doing well in their world, but the transition of information between the different players, like with the uh, 2008 American team, they got disqualified because they dropped the baton. So for really star players, there's no value. You get disqualified, you end up in defect, you end up in court. If there isn't an effective transition of the information about flow and movement between each, each of the participants. Architecture, you think, starts with an overall vision and a sketch, I suppose, about the flow of a structure and the overall effect. In our world, it should start with the placement of downpipes. <laughs>